Right, so last night, again, Israel had been deliberately targeting hospitals in Gaza, where refugees are assembling, unable to evacuate, sick people, babies in incubators who cannot go, children and the staff staying behind to treat them, standing by these people, though it may cost them their own lives. One small display of humanity where otherwise there isn't any. The excuses given for these atrocities, for these deliberate strikes against civilian infrastructure, when Israel know that civilians are not just in these buildings, but concentrated in these buildings, is that Hamas are hiding amongst them. And therefore, civilian casualties are unavoidable as they defend themselves, though how many of those casualties are acceptable versus the number of Hamas operatives they have successfully targeted, they won't tell us. Airstrikes around the Indonesian hospital in Gaza, the Al Nazar Children's Hospital, I'll say again, Children's Hospital was actually hit, and more strikes around the Al Shifa Hospital, the largest hospital in the Gaza Strip. Israel have attempted to justify this with video proof of what they say is a Hamas tunnel in footage taken of the Sheikh Hamid Bin Khalifa Hospital for Rehabilitation and Prosthetic Hospital. But as has been the case before, the truth is anything but what the Israeli Defence Force say it is. Right, so yet more targeting of hospitals by Israel in Gaza has taken place always on the word of the IDF, the Israeli Defence Force, saying there are legitimate targets there. And nobody ever seems to question that in our media. It is just accepted that what they are saying is true. But with no attempt being made to avoid civilian casualties, the number of which has already topped 10,000, these are war crimes being carried out, whilst our leaders just sit there in silence, sit on their hands and don't say or do anything about it. Israel has a right to defend itself, they say. True, no argument about that, despite the fact, though, that they are openly bombing a small strip of land where half the population are under 18, and also under their occupation. Also a war crime, also against international law. I really don't say how they can call it self-defence then, when they aren't fighting back an enemy in their own territories. But there we go. It was early on in the most recent military action that an IDF spokesperson shared a conversation between two apparent Hamas operatives, you might remember I did a video on this, that turned out to have been two separate conversations clipped together to try and justify the airstrike on another hospital, the Al Ali Baptist Hospital, which Israel at the time vehemently denied. Yet here we are with several being hit as airstrikes around the area seem designed not to deliberately target Hamas, but more to convince more people to move south, head towards the Egyptian border at Rafah, where they can then be pushed out of Gaza completely into the Sinai Desert and complete the ethnic cleansing that appears to be happening before our eyes, all again under the auspices of rooting out Hamas. The Al Nasser Children's Hospital hit, tanks on the lawn trapping people in the Al Naziri Children's Hospital. Just what is their deal with kids in hospitals? The Al Quds and the Indonesian Hospital were in the firing line too last night. The Al Shifa Hospital's outpatients clinics were targeted. And then this beastly thing, the Hellfire R9X, produced by Lockheed Martin, which has pop-out blades instead of a warhead in it, hardly a targeted strike with artillery like that, is it? That targeted their car park and courtyard. That's designed for maximum carnage in a small area. That's not designed to take underground tunnels out. That's designed to maim and kill whoever, whichever poor souls happen to be too close to it, be they Hamas or civilian, indiscriminately. Because a missile can't tell the difference, can it? The targeting of medical centres is shameless and deliberate, but one other hospital that Israel have themselves highlighted might have just undermined their alleged excuses for the hospitals and other civilian targets that they're choosing. And just as their incompetent fakery was exposed previously, this latest piece of evidence they've supplied has now been debunked too. Now the claim has long been that Hamas are hiding in tunnels, isn't it? Running under these institutions, they've deliberately done so to hide behind civilians. And to prove this, the IDF have come up with a photograph taken within the grounds or of the grounds of the Sheikh Hamed bin Khalifa Hospital for Rehabilitation and Prosthetic Hospital. It's quite a mouthful, that name for that hospital, isn't it? Which they say shows the entrance to one of these Hamas tunnels. Well, it doesn't look very carved out by terrorists because it is a perfectly square hatch. Now, hospitals, amongst other buildings, are protected under international law, and deliberately targeting them is a war crime. So it is important that Israel can prove this if they should have their day in The Hague is... I hope they will, and they damn well should, because they don't seem to be going out of their way to avoid hospitals anymore based on their antics last night. 
But this particular piece of evidence ought to be a significant exhibit if any war crimes trial ever materialises in the future. Because this isn't a Hamas tunnel, it's a water tank. The hospital, as the name says, specialises in rehabilitation and prosthetics, and the water tank is used to fill rehabilitation and therapeutic pools, as well as provide water for the grounds, and is a water supply in case of emergency. Now, as for who has broken this news and exposed it, we again have foreign media to thank for that, and in this instance, it is Sanad, which is the digital investigation agency of Al Jazeera, the Qatari-based state media outlet. Now, some might question the independence of this outlet. Goodness knows Western media does a lot. But given that Qatar has broken off relations with Israel due to their actions, some might imply some bias at work here too. They aren't going to want to paint Israel in a positive light. But actually, they couldn't be more perfectly positioned to expose this particular latest idea fairy tale. You see, with Al Jazeera and therefore Sanad being Qatari-based, they had access to all manner of materials in relation to this particular hospital because Qatar happened to build it. I made mention of how much of a mouthful of a name this particular hospital is to say but the short name for this particular hospital is just the Qatari hospital and they brought it into use just four years ago actually back in 2019. Sanad therefore had access not just to satellite imagery of what is going on then and now but they had plans for the hospital at their fingertips. They could access archives of its construction, literal video footage of it being built, and they were even able to speak to the people who worked on it, notably the Qatari engineers who ran the project. Amongst all of this was the construction of this particular hatchway, this portal during construction and what it led to, and for Israel to be right in what they're saying, that would mean Qatar had to have been working directly with Hamas to build their tunnels at the same time as the hospital was being built. And well, that would be a very serious allegation to make, wouldn't it? Well, they needn't worry, thanks to Sanad, because footage they obtained show it wasn't actually connected to anything, let alone a tunnel. It was just a water reservoir. The sort of thing this particular institution would very much need, given Israel's penchant for switching the water off to Gaza. One of the engineers interviewed by Sanad said, I worked for months on the construction of the Sheikh Hamad Hospital for Prosthetics. The occupation army showed a concrete hatch in the eastern side of the hospital. It was the hatch of an underground water tank. Visible above the ground are the concrete hatch, a metal lid, and a pressure equalization hatch used to expel air when filling the tank with water. The only thing Israel have confirmed is that there's a water tank on the hospital grounds. That they claim this is Hamas should alarm the international community though, and especially the UN, that war crimes are being committed here with Israel striking hospitals because if this easily debunked nonsense is what passes for Israeli intelligence, then their intelligence is pretty thick, and Israel thinks we're stupid enough to believe them. I didn't think there was much in this world you could trust less than what comes out of the mouths of the likes of Keir Starmer or Boris Johnson, but Israeli intelligence seems to have managed it. Every allegation of a Hamas tunnel next to or near a Gazan hospital should be treated with great suspicion by the international community. They claim Hamas are riding an ambulance, is hiding in schools, they are using Hamas as an excuse to apparently indiscriminately destroy civilian infrastructure and their basis for doing so has now repeatedly been shown to be highly questionable. To date, 63 paramedics, pharmacists, lab technicians, physiotherapists and optometrists have been killed on top of all the doctors and nurses, which have been more widely reported. We need a ceasefire to sort this out, to stop wanton Israeli destruction and death as they appear to be set on doing, set on inflicting, and the truth of these tunnels needs to come out because it would appear that Israel is committing war crimes or the case against them being built over this hinges on securing evidence before they end up destroying it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share and subscribe if you did. More content out daily. Please do have your say on this story in the comments below and be part of the conversation. Meanwhile, here's a video recommendation where Israel implicated themselves in that bombing of the al Ali hospital, so it's no hardship to believe they've manufactured a story once again to suit their actions. And I'll hopefully catch you on the next bit. Cheers, folks.